video is going to be about something that I'm so excited about because uh, I'm getting pet snakes! If you know me, even just a little tiny bit, you may know that I'm just obsessed with animals and nature and I love it so, so much. And I currently don't have pets, like I have a doggy at my parents have a place, but they live like far away and I moved out like five years ago now. So I've been like very lonely. I don't know, I literally felt kind of lonely the last year or so before that I was just super busy with school but I just I need more animals around me else I'm just gonna literally die so where I live now is like it's a nice apartment nice and tiny pretty cheap so it leaves me to like save up to eventually buy a house and when the time is there I will get a house where pets are allowed and I'll get so many animals but for now I'm just stuck in this tiny small apartment and the rental agreement says no cats or no dogs allowed which is very sad because like I want 20 of them and of course like small pets are allowed I think like rats or other rodents but I'm allergic to rodents so that cancels that out but I've actually already been thinking of getting pet snakes for a while I have a friend who breeds in bald pythons and red snakes and geckos and a lot of other animals. She has so, so many animals, like her house is literally heaven. Her company is called Coffin Snakes and I already knew like if I'll get a snake I'll get from like I'll of course get my animals from her because I know she treats them so nicely and just like I don't know, they're, they're she's just perfect and her animals are perfect and I just, ugh, I'm so excited. So, I don't know, more about the snakes in another video because this video will be sort of like part one because I'm just gonna show you the snake tanks. Sort of like a house tour video of the snakes before they're even here yet. So, of course there's like different types of snake tanks you can get, like ball pythons or ground snakes, so they're very like white and the width and like the size of it is depending on like the size of the snake and the snakes i'm getting are already like eight and five so the tanks are quite big and um yeah it was like a whole process and i'm just gonna show you them so these are the tanks there are two snakes and they can't be like in the same tank so i have two separate tanks and this one is 80 by 40 by 40 centimeters and that one is 100 by 40 by 40. I'll show you like where it's placed and how it looks like in my like apartment and everything like at the end. Most like often snake tanks or reptile tanks are like rainforest or desert themed but I actually just want like foresty like forest witch theme and um, yeah I got a couple of things and I'll just go through them um, like yeah let's just start and I'll start with the smaller tank um, this is what it looks like very cozy and very dark and mysterious it has a sliding door and of course it has a heat lamp that provides as well as daylight as warmth that's why it's in a cage because you need to protect your animal and even though this cage gets warm it doesn't get too hot but the lamp will get like crazy hot so that's important to like have a cage and it was quite a struggle to like get this on here because it didn't came with any like adjustment thingies so I just got like, some like screw thingies so I screwed them through the ventilation shaft thingy and um, yeah, both tanks have the same lamp and the same cage. Um, the lamp is from the brand Reptech, which my friends really recommended as like brand for the lamp. But the cage is just from a different brand, but it's like the fitting and everything. So yeah, that's the same in that one. So the soil I use is uh, coconut based, like there's different types of soil. soil or grounds you can use for snakes as long as it's not sand because you don't want the sand to like get stuck between their scales because it can cause irritation and shit so yeah 
Um, every tank needs to have a warmer side and slightly colder side. This side will have a heat mat underneath it, so the soil isn't that thick. It's only like a little bit. And then, yeah, the snake can get here or either there to just chill in like the warmth. Um, the back, like this, is actually from IKEA. Like, um, often you see in snake or reptile tanks this cork or like fake rocks back, but I didn't really like that. And I got this at IKEA. Um, this one has like, it's all fake, this. And there's like fake ferns and fake ivy and all kinds of plants. And this one has as well, but like slightly different. Uh, IKEA sells them in like squares of 26 by 26, so I had to cut them, like attach them all together and cut it the right size. But then I got this and it's pretty cool. Um, this one is actually a real plant that I just planted because this, um, for both tanks, I picked a plant that is like air. Um, like provides oxygen and cleans the air and shit and this is just an ivy thingy so that's cool you can you can basically use any plants because snakes don't eat plants so none is like super poisonous or shit as long as you don't get like cactus because of course it's prickly um yeah so this is the plant and it's very leggy so she can lay underneath there then um the snakes that the snake that will be in this uh, tank is quite small and this is actually a wooden tissue box but it looks like as if it's like a pile of old books which I thought would be so cool and like you can open it and clean it it's wood so it's very like okay so I, th I thought it would look, would look pretty cool and then this is just like a ceramic pumpkin just for fun and then this is a hollow let me grab it it's especially made for um, tanks. It's plastic. It's a fake uh, deer skull. Or it says buffalo skull, but I think it's pretty much a deer. Which goes with my forest theme. So, yeah, she can lay on it if it's like nice and warm or go underneath it. And then that's just for water. And um, like the back there, uh, that's actually just wrapping paper that I sticked on the other side <laughs> because um, like they don't want to see each other because they might get like stressed out um, and then here's just my couch so yeah this is the first tank then the second tank is quite bigger because the snake is also quite bigger um, over there is just the same lamp and the same soil is used. Oh, and I used like the dried moss in both of them as well, just a bit. Um, this one actually has a huge real antler that of course like everything is cle cleaned so roughly. And this is just, I thought it would be cool. You can climb on it or chill underneath it. I thought it would be nice. And then um, the plants, like here's also the wrapping paper. It's on the other side. Um, the plant wall. This one is slightly different. It's more purple in it. And then I found this ceramic fake mushroom that is so cute and matches perfectly. So that's really um, satisfying. <laughs> um, this is a planter. I thought this is so cool. Um, this is also in it is a real fern because I'm obsessed with fern and it cleans the air and everything. So um, around this is a little bit of space so we can crawl underneath there. And then here is uh, the heat map. So it's like providing warmth underneath it. Um, over there are some rose quartz because I thought it would be cool. And then just for water and let me go there. Um, that's, wait, this is actually also just a planter, I thought it would be cool because you can chill underneath the heat and like inside of it. And um, this one is kind of in the, 
like I'm gonna place a plant on top of here just so it's even more hidden it's like all in the corner out of sight so I hope this is like hidden enough for him to feel like right at home else I just maybe get like something or like create a lid or anything just because they like to hide in places and shit but I thought like this eyes will be nice and it also looks pretty nice and yeah what else this is just the other tank and then this is what it looks like just like in my house this is my sitting corner and here's my altar and just my television so this is just kind of the only place that my like these tanks fit in my tiny apartment but they actually fit really nicely here I think so this is where they're gonna stay and then if I'm sitting here I can just watch them and oh my god cute and maybe I'll just place some more plants on top of it to create even like they have kind of like a roof but of course not too much but yeah so yeah that was the snake house tour and um, if you have any specific questions on like oh what is the temperature or like more informative like at first i i tried to film something like more an informative video but it's kind of ended up like a, a lot of like rambling and kind of like boring so i don't know there's a lot of information on the internet but sometimes it's still kind of confusing so um like i'm not a pro i'm just a beginner as well so but yeah if you have any questions feel free to hit me up and I'll also link the company of my snake friends, uh, the coffin snakes. I'll link it down below. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and stay tuned for when these snakes are moving in. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs>